It's your boy Uno Live with 215 Deep Thoughts my stream, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, chillin'. Shout out to battlerap.com. Talking about the current scene right now, uh, Daylight is playing a big part of it. You were supposed to battle him. Yeah, twice. What happened there? Well, the first time we were set up to battle, I was supposed to be in Arizona for Voice Box, and um, I, I mean, from what I hear, um, financially they just crumbled and weren't able to to just they weren't able to fix themselves after that, so they were done. Then after that, we were supposed to be scheduled for Supernova, and again, the finances and stuff, I mean, we're both not cheap, so it was like, setting up a battle like that is pretty expensive mm. for, for like little leagues or whatever, and then that didn't work out after a while, I mean, but we technically, we both got like our first halves like twice, <laughs> so we still got money for a battle that never even happens. Do you have rounds for him? Huh? Yes, I do. Let's hear a little bit. No. <laughs> I do have something special for him, though. A gimmick? I do, yeah. I'm the king of that shit. I started that shit. Well, that's it. Is you know you you do have done gimmick gimmicks in the past, and mm -hmm. you are known for saying a lot of like outlandish mm -hmm. shit in your rounds. And Daylight has managed to use both of those techniques uh, to become arguably the number one guy, the number one battle rapper in the world right now. Yeah, that's arguable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to argue about it? I think Hollow's number one. Yeah, you can make that point. Mm -hmm. He beat Button. Uh, who who has he lost to? Arguably awkward, maybe you could say. Yeah, uh, Arsenal. I mean, that was. That seven, don't count that. Seven years ago. That don't count that. That was fight. <laughs> that was fight club and everything. It was freestyling. Yeah. No, but I, I don't think Hollow really can't lose to anyone. I think he's the best. Mm. He, I think he three o fucking Lux. I mean, it wasn't a body bag where he clearly won every round, you know what I mean? So it's like, what do you say to a guy like that, you mm -hmm. mean? I think he's unbeatable at the moment. Yeah, I think that's the argument, is that you can put Hollow at number one of all time. Yeah. And then, but Daylight, like, the amount of buzz he's gotten in the last three months... But is is the buzz that he's gotten based off of his battles? So how can you say he's the number one battle rapper when his buzz isn't even off of his battles? Yeah, I mean, I guess I mean it's off him doing crazy things, exactly. both in and in his battles and outside of his battles. Yeah, it's more so of him fucking. Pulling out his dick in front of like all the Queen of the Ring bitches and shit like uh, that. No one really talks about anything he actually says in a battle. I mean, him, his third round versus T Rex. I mean, his first two rounds were shit. And then, like, his third round, he just gets naked again in front of everyone and starts eating a paper of Mr. Hanky or something like mm -hmm. that. I mean, he's talented and everything, but his talent plays no part in what he's known for. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. But the day I go against him, I'll shut all that shit the fuck down. Yeah. I, I really got something good for him. Who do you think will book that? I don't know, but I don't want to do it in a small stage. I mean, it's it's not worth it for me. Even 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 if, even though the money would be good, it, it's not important. Like with a dude like that, I actually want to prove a point. Mm. And there's not many people I want to prove a point with any one of them. So, uh, who else do you want to battle uh, at this point? Cortez. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to battle Cortez um, Only because I, I think he's the number one uh, Latino battle rapper You know what I mean I just want to knock him out just real quick you mm -hmm. know what I mean? He's not he's not trash or anything I think I think he's still like one of the best in the world as well like, Easily top 10 You know what I mean He's not entertaining or nothing like that But he still wins battles You know what I mean So I, I would definitely like that battle uh, Marv won I would like to battle Why him? But, because he's funny I mean I don't want to I don't want the Marv one that tries to rap because he's trash I want the Marv one that's funny because when he's funny he's hilarious as shit you know what I mean um, you know when he was doing WRC sitting on the bench with the little the little 8 pound towel on his neck because he kept sweating and shit I want, I want that Marv one you know what I mean I don't want the fucking URL Marv one that you like a can open like whatever the fuck he says it's just stupid so, uh, any new guys that uh, have caught your eye? 
New guys. Uh, who's new? Oh man, Danny Myers is pretty new. Rum Nitty's pretty new. I would like Rum Nitty. Yeah, Rum Nitty. I would battle. Danny Myers is pretty cool. I would battle him. Um, uh, I guess one of the U- the URL dudes is new ones. Um, I would love to battle Dot. 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 Why? Because he's such a target. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I would have a fucking field day with a dude like that. What? <laughs> you you spent a lot of time uh, in the last year or so really going in on the URL style, the street mm-hmm. style, the word association style. Mm-hmm. I guess, was it against Bonnie you did it? And yeah. um, and I did it in my URL battle too. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, we'll see. Yeah. Um, and was it against Wise Guy? Wise too? Guy, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, do you like this street style? Do you like the? the I like it. Guys? I like it when it when, it's, when it makes sense. You know what I mean, I like any style that makes sense. But when you're just pulling shit out your ass and just making a word that has none detergents and fucking app pool, like it's just shut up. <laughs> makes sense. Mm. Yeah. What do you think is the perfect combination uh, for? Succeeding in battling Uniqueness You gotta be unique That's it You could be trash But if you're like Like That's a perfect example He's He's horrible He doesn't say N- I make it rain four times No Olympics It's just terrible But he's unique And his style is like You wanna see more of it You wanna see the retarded kid Lick the window all day <laughs> That's what it is. Is that what retar- retarded kids do? Yeah, they like windows with helmets and shit. I mean, <laughs> mm, I mean, that's what you want to see. So it's like, he's unique. And that's that's all you need. Daylight, unique. You know what I mean? Tiller Jones, he's unique. You know what I mean, he does this scheme shit the best of anyone. That's why he's so, you know what I mean, he's, he's up there with the rest of them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, he does it in a unique way. But when you're like, a copy of something. You're just the best person. I mean, you you just you're just amongst a room full of people doing the same thing. As soon as you start wearing white and a crowd is wearing black and red and something like that, you'll stand out and people will want to watch you. That's all. You mentioned earlier uh, talking about cl- like Uno Lavos clones. Mm-hmm. Who are you talking about there? Oh, this guy is easily one of them. He's easily like this. I mean, Big J. Dude from Dumb Five is easily one of them. Like, just you can just tell by the way they they set up their shit and things they say and like the mom jokes or grandma jokes. You can just tell, and it's like, you know, I, you know what I mean, it's flattering. But I mean, when when there's a difference between when you do that and you're paying homage, which is fine. I do it too. But there's a difference between when you think you you invented something and you could beat who the fuck. Yeah, you know I mean, really originated the shit. You know what I mean, then then it's like okay. No. Fuck off. Are you battling Big J? Yeah. When's that coming? Uh, Dumb Flop, sixth birthday. You heard it, heard it here first, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unless they announce it before I put this interview out. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, tell me, uh, how do you prepare for a guy like that? Do you just, what kind of angles do you take on him? I just beat myself. They can't beat me being me. I mean, you're doing what I do. So if I just do me... You're, you're gonna get killed What is he gonna do Rap No The fuck I mean His only strength is comedy I'm the funniest battle rapper in the world He can't do anything can't You don't be, Can't be funnier than me You don't think there's a funnier battle rapper out there Fuck no Who's funnier They even got as funny Who could get away with just one line And the crowd goes crazy for like 45 seconds and shit My lines don't even make sense sometimes They just <laughs> fucking they love it <laughs> I think you know, we were talking about Young B earlier. He's another guy that... Who? Young B. Oh, the future? Yeah. yeah. He's another guy who just, like, gets huge crowd rea- crowd reaction in smaller rooms, too. Mm-hmm. Um, who just has that, that like, steamroller charisma mm-hmm. that he can kind of say anything and the, the crowd's losing it. I like battling dudes like that. Mm. I love I love battling dudes like that. Because it makes, it makes for a, a much more entertaining battle. You know what I mean? Rather than the whole fucking... Multi-syllable when I'm in the galaxy. No, I'd rather do that. Doesn't make sense, but get the crowd behind them. The fucking some dude that's, I mean, the old school sketch shit. He's a per- born as hell. All he did was rhyme all day. <laughs> Ass. You know what I mean, I I I I I made him alive. He's alive now. Now he has a personality. That's it. It's like sketches really embraced his 
I'm a white guy. He's white shit, yeah. yeah. That's what he did versus me. It was amazing. Mm. Uh, what's the best thing about battle rap right now? Entertainment. I think so. Very entertaining. You have hours and hours of watching it. It's just everything. You know what I mean? It's like fucking cartoons for adults. <laughs> I mean? Well said. Uh, and the worst thing? The worst thing is the politics. I fucking hate the politics. Not everyone complains about the politics. It's, 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 it's bad. No one talks about the specifics of the politics. We you going to know? <laughs> tell me. Uh, well, me there that. you tell me. What when people are talking about the politics, what is it? It's just more of so uh, how good of a friend you are with someone nowadays. I mean, it's not so what you have done or what you have accomplished or what you have to offer. It's uh, this is my homie. I mean, perfect example: Dirtbag Dan versus Charlie Cuz. Do you think he deserved Charlie Cuz at that time? When's the last time he was relevant? Before? Oh man! I don't know why. He's yeah. friends with somebody. You know what I'm saying? That was what well, I'm trying right to think places. where he was at in his career at that he's, point. He's, like he's where he's at now. No Battle Brown. Lost. The bird, yeah, the bird bars. Yeah, it's like he doesn't know. And he paid for Rome. I mean it's not like he, it's not like Rome thought he was a good opponent or something. It's like, yo, Rome pay you, come out here. Yeah. I, I think Dan has done a pretty good job of staying relevant through the the show though, the radio show. Or the podcast. Well yeah, stick to that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but as far as battle rap is concerned, he, he doesn't deserve no fucking good matches like that. I wouldn't battle him just because he's in the he's in my lane, and he he will be like the only he's like the only dude left. You know what I mean? I already beat Madness, fucking um, FLO, all the funny dudes from like the past, like the main guys at the time or whatever. So he's just he's like the only dude left. You know what I mean? You kind of have a rivalry with the the West Coast. It feels like. I don't think I do. It's just um, it's more so whoever's funny from back then doesn't like me now because you know, I mean they can't fuck with me. That's all. I mean it's not my fault. Fucking stay relevant or get better. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Wasn't wasn't Spec not booking you or something? I spec one um from the yeah. Fresh I, I never knew why. You know what I mean, and um, I tried going up organic about it, but he was just like, oh. I mean, he never wants to get into anything. He's just he's, he's just want to be laid back. Yeah, you know too many mean? politics. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, if I was Big K or something, you probably would have cared. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> what else? Tell me, uh, how is, you know, we're talking about personas or, you know, battle personas. So how is Uno Lavos different from whatever your actual name is? <laughs> Manuel? Yeah, my real name is Manuel. Okay, Manuel. Yeah. <clears throat> how are they different? Um, I'm, I'm really quiet and shy in real life. Very shy. I mean, I've never been, like, one of those people that walks into a room and just starts fucking talking to everyone and shit out of nowhere. I mean, I'm usually the guy at the bar is quiet. I mean, and uh, the Una Lava's character is just the total opposite. I mean, I think I think whatever character you are in Battle Rap, you're usually the total opposite. I mean, I mean and um, I'm just more laid back, more calm, not as funny, I think. I mean, it, you know, when you're amongst friends and shit, you know, I make people laugh, but... In real life situations, I'm, I'm usually just like a, the neutral guy. You know, so, does that uh, does that throw off fans when you're at events and they mm -hmm. only know you from your footage? Every time. What kind of stories can you tell about that? Um, like they'll they'll come up to me and they'll like want to say mom jokes and shit and just all day long. And I'm like, you know, I'm just trying to chill and relax or whatever. And they're like, what do you mean, bro? You know what I mean just all this shit? <laughs> <laughs> and like they're trying to be hype with me, and I'm just I'm just trying to relax because before a battle. I'm, I'm in the back pacing back and forth. I can't enjoy anything. And then after the battle, I'm just glad it's over with. So I'm just trying to chill and just, I mean, whatever. It's different if a fan comes up to me and asks for an autograph or a picture or something like that. I could do that all day and no problem. But like when they want to fucking go back and forth with mom jokes all day and shit, it's like you're annoying me. I mean, like people just think I walk up the street butt naked screaming <laughs> mom jokes and shit. Uh, uh, what other battlers are like that that are completely opposite from their on-screen personas? Awkward. Like, like on screen, he's like this loud fucking asshole. It's just, you bunch of deep. And then in real life, he's like the coolest dude ever, yo. I get along with, like, Math is another one. Like, he's one of the Math nicest. Hoffa. Yeah, one mm -hmm. of the nicest people ever. I mean, real funny guy. Another dude I would like to battle, too, because he has a hilarious side to him as well. You know what I mean? Um... A lot of the, a lot of the street battle rappers are like, I I gravitate towards too and I'm really really good friends with. You know what I mean, it's just it's just more of the funny guys that I have a problem with. Hmm. They hate me. 
And uh, which battlers are the most similar to their personas? To be honest, I really don't know. I think everyone just puts on their alter ego, to be honest. Like, I really don't know. I guess Arsenal, Sue Surf, those type of dudes, because they're really cocky in real life. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, so I guess, like, those are, like, the only two dudes I can really think of offhand who, who actually are kind of who they are in real life. Even though Arsenal's a really good dude, too. You know? It's really hard to say. Have they ever reached out for uh, UW? No. Um, I would love to be UW. See, the thing is, I think I think people just don't think I can handle those type of crowds and shit. That's why I came up for this battle come out for you all up. I think, I think um, a lot of people would agree that I had, like, one of the best rounds of the night and stuff like that. So it's like... That's just to show that I could I could do whatever, but I can only I can only do I can only make do with what I have to work with. I mean, you can't fucking have me in in a KOTD fucking event battling APO and think I'm gonna pull a million view battle and shit off of something. There's, there's nothing there. You know what I mean, there's no motivation for me. There's there's barely a crowd. I mean, it's like what do you what do you expect? I mean, so it's like. Hopefully, they'll get the point. They'll, they'll, they'll get it after a while. Is that the goal right now to make it to the URL big stage? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like I said, I did it all by myself. I mean, no one helped me. No one, no one like fucking was like, yo, you should put Uno on or something like that. You know what I mean, everyone's just trying to get an entertaining battle out of me. They don't try to get battles that like will actually mean something. Like put me versus Big T. I mean, can you imagine that shit? Mm. A fat black dude versus me, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Fuck all that lyrical boo black shit. You're fat. You're fat and black. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna just go off of that. I mean, I don't have to be racist or whatever. Like usually, whenever they battle me, I get like a whole bunch of Spanish shit or whatever. That was all stupid stuff. I mean, Mm. but if I battle someone like that, I can just come up with so an infinite amount of stuff. And it's like, why isn't why stuff like that doesn't get booked? Why do I get like? little odds and ends here and there and shit like that mm. I think the last time I got a big name in fucking KOTD was what Henry Bowers or something no Poe Rich Poe Rich and after that it was like Apiola fucking wise guy like I, get, I don't even count Bonnie I mean that was a given I was gonna whoop her ass I mean you're not you know girl she's guy. a pretty big name though I don't think so you think so I think she pulls views and she's known she's known definitely right. yeah and she does I think she pulls views in, in Queen of the Ring yeah I guess I, mean, <clears throat> I don't know I, I just don't count that that was just like a ass whooping waiting to happen it doesn't it doesn't mean anything so I mean if I, I beat her but so what you're supposed to you know what I mean you're not, it doesn't mean anything it, it, it only would have mattered if I lost you know what I mean and I wouldn't I wouldn't lose to a girl has there been any talk for World Domination 5? Yeah, but I don't know if I'm going to do it. I mean, it's just, like I said, it's the name. I'm not going to continue to do, like, little little names and stuff. Little little, st- little names that don't interest me. I mean, yeah, some yeah, some of the stuff will make it for entertaining battles, but if that's all I'm going to be, then there's no point. You know what I mean? I, I just want, I want something. I mean, I have over a million views on these channels. You know what I mean, so I'm not some dude that just comes along and, like, yo, give me a check or whatever. You know what I mean, I, I don't even charge KOTV like that. I mean, just get me there and I'll battle. Because I appreciate what they did for me in the beginning. I mean, they put me on. And, you know, I mean, stuff like that just always stays with me. You know, I mean, don't flop too. I never I never try to just get me there. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, that's it. So. Um, Any final words? Um. Yeah, just stop fucking, stop giving me these little ass fucking bitch ass no view <laughs> names and shit. You know I mean, I don't care if they're funny. Give me someone who's not funny. Give me a style clash. Give me something that... Give me a dude that you think I have no chance of winning so that way I can actually give a fuck and actually write for these people because you keep giving me... I don't have to write anything in this, in this a debatable battle. So it's like, why bother? You know what I mean? Give me something worth my time. Give me, give me just something, something. Something to work with. And end on a positive note. I love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is All your, right. fa- your favorite milk, man. I don't know how it was two and five. Shout out, Uno Lavos, thank you.